dear child is also ruined my sex life. No more time or inclination for that, thank you very much. So much so. Let me show you what's just turned up. Come and have a look. So, uh, just a short while ago, I had a delivery and this turned up. What it is, is one of the Titan refurbished planar thicknesses. Whether it's going to be uh, any good or not is another matter. So I've seen a few reviews on them and uh, they've got good points like being cheap and things but uh, then they've got you know a few uh, problems with them with like the infeed table being wobbly and stuff uh, such like but i got this at a good price so because uh, if you look on the internet and put in i think it's iforce that do them and they do refurbished ones because uh screw they must get a lot of them sent back you know back to screw fix so whether they fix the problem, whether the person taking it back has just took it back just because of the, you know, little dodgy bits like the in wobbly in-feed table and stuff like that. I don't know, but I, w I was just hoping that uh, if this was sent back because of a specific problem, I was just hoping that the problem would uh, get sorted before they send it out again. Most of the bits are there. There's... Uh, all there is is just a push stick that's missing and the odd few washers but apart from that everything's there so yeah this video isn't about this particular subject it's just a bit of all sorts I'm just showing you you know what I'm up to just bits and bobs in the workshop and uh, so I've got this turned up so I'm gonna be putting this together I'll slowly be plodding through this and uh, as well as that over here I've still got the bandsaw to sort out because the bandsaw has lost its tyre the tyre's dropped a bit under there uh, it just sort of dried up and fell to bits but I have seen a cheap way of doing that, and that is to, sorry about the wobble, um, usually I don't hold on to the uh, camera, but uh, yeah, I've seen a cheap way of doing this, because I've got this bandsaw, this draper, little draper one, and then I've got the Titan one over there, and this draper one I just use for like rough cutting now. So now, I'm wondering, people have said, mentioned, oh, an easy bodgy way to sort out your tyres, get rid of them, take off the bits that are left there, and then just wrap it round loads of times with insulation tape and have that as your tyre. So, uh, and you've just got to make sure that you put the tape the right way so that it doesn't unravel. So I might try that. I did have a look on the internet for these uh, size tires and because um uh, everything's on a budget in here i think they're quite dear i think they work out to around 15 pounds each or something so i might just try the uh, tape stick that on so as well as that i did the uh, lathe video yesterday with this uh, the clark lathe but this is needing in need of refurbishment. I've managed to get hold of some belts, so I'm gonna do a video on that sometime. I've got it needs new belt, uh, a new belt, and it needs bearings and uh, all sorts looking at. So that's gonna be coming up sometime. I've got that to do. I've got loads of all sorts, uh, loads of jobs to do. So as well as that, my. Uh, over here, the heater that I've done, the uh, this heater, like log burner, the flue bit that I've made that just goes out there, it's just got this going right up, and then it's uh, bodily attached to the outside of the garage. And then 
on top of that i think i've got a baking tray on top as uh, to stop the rain going back down it you know just uh, as like a cap so sometime in here we've got to make a cap for that to keep the rain out uh what else have we got to do we've got this to look at this uh, surface planer that started playing up a bit because when you run stuff across it the speed sort of changes on its own it's got a uh, speed change there i think uh, to change the speeds on it but it does it while i'm using it it just changes on its own so i don't know if there's something wrong with that or whether you know brushes are going or whatever but that that's got to be sorted out what else have i got to come up i've got let's have a look because i've done since the poor man's workshop at the tour this year early on when did i do it january yeah Riff early on in january i've made a lot of changes since then uh, you know there's a lot happened since then in the workshop so i think i'm going to have a short little video of uh, the changes i've made since that i know it hasn't been long but uh, there's been quite a few changes that and updates that i've uh, done since then let's have a look what i wrote a list here of things that uh, i want to be doing because i always put things in the back of my mind and uh, then i forget all the things that I was going to do. I don't really use my memory, I use a sticky note, that's my brain. I want to... I've got a robot project, I want to do that sometime. This is a project that I do with the uh, kids at school. Because I'm the design technician, uh, D&T technician. What I did was come up with a project for uh, the pupils to do. For the younger ones so this is for our year sevens and they really like it so what it is is a, a robot um desk tidy sort of pencil holder it holds pencils and you can uh, wrap ear phone uh, earphone wrap and all sorts so but i'll show you that sometime anyway but the kids love it they love doing the robots because I had to come up with something, because they do, a lot of the kids used to make things and uh, they wouldn't take, with the, some of the old projects, they wouldn't take them home, they weren't bothered. But since we've done the robots, since I come up with this and do the robots, they seem to love them and want to take them, you know, they can't wait to take them home. So I've got that to do, I'll, I'll show some time, well, uh, that'll be one of my projects that I do. What else have we got? I want to try some burning of wood so like building something and i've always fancied using the blowtorch to uh, how you get a burnt finish burn the uh, grain and get it to show up really well so i want to do that sometime so uh, do a project using that technique uh i've got a router table down there that i bought off facebook it's uh like a work zone one. I'm getting a bit full up in here. Uh, like I've been told before by, uh, with comments from uh, subscribers, stop buying stuff unless you uh, get rid of, you know, the old one to make room. But I'm a plonker and I don't listen. Maybe I should, eh? But, uh, so I've got a router table down there that I've got to sort out. Try, got to try and get that going. Uh, see if I can get my router fitted to it and see what it's like. So I've got that to come up. Do something with that. Uh, what else have we got on here? So we've got to do... Oh yeah, I've got a router restoration to do. I've got a really old... I've, said in one of my videos a while ago that my son wanted uh, wanted a table saw a little table saw that i had so i had to uh, take off when i started doing my clark saw here i used uh, 
I used the guard off this little table saw and then I ended up giving him the table saw. So I had to take the guard back off and put it back on that so it was safe for him. But when he was down in one of the sheds, because uh, he was saying that he hadn't got any tools at all. And uh, when he was down in the shed, he spotted this router. Now this router has been, it was chucked in a greenhouse, uh, in our greenhouse. We had a greenhouse here quite a long time ago. But I've converted it, I've made it into a shed now. But uh, he found this router and this is in a real state. Look at that. I don't even know, it feels like it's seized up. So I don't even know if it's ever going to uh, run again. But I said to him, leave it here and I'll see if I can uh, give it a refurbishment job. You know, give it a bit of a fix up. See if I can get it going. It's only a rubbish... Uh, what is it power devil one but uh it's worth a go i'll give it a try if it uh if i can get it working okay you can have that and then he'll have a router it's even got a bit in so uh, i've got that to do so i've got all sorts coming up all the time there's more on here of uh, all sorts that i've got so uh yeah loads to do uh, to keep me busy because uh, like we all need something to keep us uh, busy in these weird times we've all got to stay in so uh, so that's what we've got to do but uh, yeah there's all sorts to do so this was just a, f a quick video show you what I'm up to so today I'm going to uh, put this together oh yeah what I noticed on this if you ever thinking about getting one or even if you have a uh, planar thicknesser on the thickness a bit I just noticed this because uh, I haven't been through these uh, instructions yet though but I've noticed because you have fingers underneath the uh, infeed of your table here for when you're thicknessing but uh, what you've got to be careful is the little fingers that hold uh, that they're supposed to all dangle down because when you push the wood through they sort of sit on the wood and won't let the wood kick back so they need to be dangling so that uh, so that they'll ride on top of your workpiece when you push it in and I've noticed under here that some of them are stuck up so i've got to try and get them down there can you see these so they're the things to dangle down and hold the wood from kicking back on this plane of thickness sir. and if you look up there so you follow them along look and then suddenly there's a massive gap they look like they're stuck up against that back but i'll have a look at that i might even take off uh, take off all the uh, side panel on here and everything just to check that uh, everything looks okay but like I say it's supposed to have been refurbished there's a sticker on there so they've done a pat test and that was done a lot in March which is good so uh, yeah that's what I'm up to I hope you're all keeping uh, safe and keeping yourself busy so that uh, you're not going mad with boredom. But anyway, I'll just get on now doing this. So, like I say, all the best and take care. Try and get him back to sleep, but no luck. None, ma'am.